All right, so uh, the gym leader had level, pretty much level 30s across the board. So we want to be able to take him down. I think it's time we go do some training. And what better way to do that than... Oh yeah, one of these guys is over there. That's cool. Um, what better way to do that than to go back to the very beginning areas? We just fly over to the East Gate. And we can go take on the Titan that's down this way. Aww. Little happy guy. Alongside our Rookity. Oh yeah, level 10. Okay. Well, we're probably a little overpowered for this area. But that's fine. I add the anti-grav Pokeball. You know the... Oh, there is a gym over there. I sure have. Oh. We'll have to tell me what type stuff is. Ah, he must have lost at a gym. Um, actually, let's set it on our map. The Titan spot. Set this destination. And then... Yeah, you're a gym leader over here. Oh, there's all three of them here. You know, we might actually be able to get three things out of the way. Oh, I thought that guy was just T-posing over there. He just has his arms crossed. dum da dum 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 That's the sound of a... Pokemon healing up the Pokemon Center. Oh. Alright. Here we go. Oh, there's a gold bin. And we probably should go buy some more Pokeballs as well. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, Bobbler. Yes, a physical type attack. Lovely view of the school. Oh. Hey, Nev. So, from what I can gather, the Stony Cliff Titan likes to lurk somewhere in this rocky area. I had a look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's all the way high on a cliff or something. Nah, that's impossible. I don't think it'd be hiding somewhere that tricky. Don't go falling off any cliffs or... Anything trying to search it out somewhere too strange. Maybe just give you a map have a look if you're feeling stumped. Alright, so we just gotta find it. Which probably its location is exactly where uh, the map icon is. Help me, for I've given my Pokemon a mighty item to hold. And I am mighty. Ooh, I wonder if we could steal it if we use Covet. I might be on this guy. Let's see. It is. All right, what did we steal? Oh, that's great. I hope we get to keep that. Let's see, do we get to keep it? Ah, uh, it does not look like it. That's unfortunate. Stantler. Cool, we got it off guard as well. Yeah, there we go. Alan the student. Of a roach. And let's just get... It's a ground type, so electric won't do much. Good job, Bob. 
It would be cool if the other Pokemon could join into the battle. Um, yeah, like if it feels it can win against him. Shroomish. Let's go catch you as well. Breloom's are always cool, although we do have both a grass and a fighting type. Ooh, crit capture. Nice. That's a Dunsparce. Let's see, what are you going to evolve into? Poison. Alright, that does kind of look cool with the Dunsparce. Oh, now it's going to die from the burn. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. Guess it was not meant to be. There's the crab. Now that's a noise if I've ever heard one. There we go. All right, what can I do for you? Oh, that's a weird way to spell Ryan. <laughs> so it really likes to lower our accuracy. But it was all for naught. There we go. That was the first bit of lag we've actually seen in a long time. Boing. Still have no idea what those do. Probably powers up karma somehow. That's a really big crab back there. There you go. Ah, oh, does like a little dance when his Pokemon attacks. And when it takes damage. Oh yeah, that is a big crab. Ah, uh, yeah, we're fine. I'm gonna guess that's the Titan Pokemon. Uh oh, it spotted us. Oh, he doesn't have a level to it. Oh. Oh, that wasn't okay. So it's like a multi stage. I figured that was a bit too easy. Charge! Oh, it just scrambled right on top of us. Oh no, did you find it? And that thing's the stony cliff titan. No cloth has got any business being that big. It's going to be even stronger now after eating those herbs. I should not have wasted my uh, orb power. Oh, you got a partner as well. Um, all right, that's not going to be probably helpful. We can do it again. Cool. Yeah, he must have given us a long rest. Oh, this is looking a little rough. Shelter, let's serve up a helping of the feet on the half shelf. I was going to say, if that little thing went before me, I was going to be a bit upset. Let's see, how does it fail against this? Alright, still pretty much the entirety. Anger Shell. Okay, so it's basically a shell smash. Oh, even with that, it still didn't do much. Ah, oh, I killed it.
No, that wasn't that hard. All right, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. These Titan Pokemon are yeesh. I sure don't like having anything so tough get out to me. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it barely, it only scratched us one sound. Didn't even do that much. I bet somewhere in here is more of that Herbica Mystica, Herbia Mystica the Titan was eaten. Quick, let's have a look before it comes back. Yeah, we can do that. Ah, one left. This is one of the Herbia Mystica. It's exactly how it looked in the book. Sweet Herbia Mystica. Yeah, we actually found one, and all thanks to you, Nav. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? It says here that with the sweet Herbia Mystica, you're good for gut health and that it helps age helps aid digestion. Well, that's a good thing for something so sweet. This is great for stomach cakes too, or when we want to stimulate the old appetite. Now, if we could just get him to eat some... Ah, uh, who? Oh, it must be, like, the Pokemon I'm carrying around. Alright, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to give it a great taste of my cooking. Ah, here you go. Marvin Original Sandwich packed full of herbs. And I'd even give you a badge, you know. So thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan Badge. And in myself... Here's an replica of the gym badges, you see. Cool. Ah, and our Pokemon. What's up with that thing? It just comes out of its bowl on its own whenever it wants. Aw, oh, he's just a bit hungry. Hey now, no, that's not for you. Yeah, why not? Hey, I went through all the trouble of making that for you, and you just gave it away. Yeah. Hope you realize that's all there was, so now there's none left for you. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, come on, now you're making me feel like the selfish jerk here. Well, you kind of are. Oh, you can have half of mine. But you better savor every last bite. Huh? You already ate that whole thing. Yeah, I figured to give him some powers. Ah! Uh, the dash ability. Oh, I can't believe it. The power of these herds really is worth guarding. If they had that big effect on your Pokemon, then I bet... Uh, I bet it'd come in super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. Ah, uh, he's hiding something. What could you be hiding? Let's see. Lore. Okay, the coast is clear. You can come out now. Ah, it's Turo. Hello, Nav. This is Turo. I detect that Maridon, Maridion has, gained, has regained some of its original power. It will now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. Hope you will be good to explore Palada with Maridon, as you have done here. Your route is now fixed, but open before you. Take out your path, use your map, and the tools at, have it at hand. Whenever you find a curiosity eat, you should always go and explore as your heart decides. Well, that's the Titan down. Surprisingly easier than what I thought it was going to be. I guess we could check to see what we have against grass first, or like what the actual gym challenge is. Oh, you know what would be really weird? If these turned out to be like weeping angels statues at some point, that would be creepy. I didn't even need to.
kind of Tauros known as Combat Breed, distinguished by its thick, powerful muscles and fierce disposition. Combat mode. Wait, Willy's evolving. Oh, just before the fly uh, grass type gym as well. Caliper. Oh, we better not lose to her. I don't have a million to give up. Yeah, not very effective. This should be, though. Wait, I got the math wrong. I got a lot of money off of her. Alright, let's go before we get mauled by a Tauros. Never mind, there it is. Ah, uh, not you. Gotta get up before that runs away. No! Curse you, bird. Let's go explore this. There's the little devil. Pokeball, maybe? Pokeball. And some extra ingredients. One day I'll learn how to do the picnic system. That day is not today. Welcome to the Arts and Gym. Let me register you as a challenger, and your name is Avilo. Yes. Yep, that is correct. Great, now in order to face the gym leader Brazius, we need to pass the gym test. Uh, we're gonna have to find here at the Artisan Gym. That means completing a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city full of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embody these concepts, we try to make them gather we try to gather them and make a good care of them. Your job today is find a sunflower located throughout Artisan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sunflowers. Get ten of them and bring them to the Sunflora lawn. You will pass the test. Okay, so we just gotta find some sunflora. That should be easy. Huh. You didn't hide. Alright, if I was a sunflora, where would I be? Oh, definitely inside the maze. But there's just three of them right here. Oh, there's one as well. Yeah, we're going swimmingly with these. Yeah, there's one in there. Called it. There's nine. Alright, last little rascal. Let's see, we haven't checked the ta- oh. Never mind, he's just right over there. That wasn't too hard. Alright, um, well... I think Willy's probably starting off with a Willy terrestrializing. Greetings, Challenger. Off in the windmill. Oh. Superhero pose. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. You did well to come this far. I am Barazius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed in finding Sunflora was truly... Oh, how shall I describe it? Yes, it was tr a true Avagrante. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye of or beauty in our battle as well. Alright. Let's talk. Let's begin the creating our collaborative work of art. Yeah, there goes the music. I trust that you are ready. It's time for our masterpiece to take shape.
challenged by Trim Leader Gracius. Okay. Artist creation and destruction. Struggle. Helps you defeat my nourished Pokemon. Uh, that's cool and all. I'm just going to terrestrialize and air slash. Elifer with the crown. Alright, I don't think this is going to be too much of a challenge. Yep. Pseudo Wudo. Oh yeah, we, we're going to be totally fine. It says promise, yes. Let's lead the artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once. Alright, that's going to become a grass, probably rock. Um, yeah, level 17. Okay. A bit overleveled here, but that's fine. Uh, they're both going to do normal damage, so might as well get the Terra bonus in. Allow me to touch this work up slightly. I'll call it Trudo Wudo. Or Trudo Wudo. Yep, there he goes. With the beautiful flower crown. Ah, sturdy. Okay, compared to the first gym, this was kind of a joke, but... That's fine. Oh, you did not like that. All that guard. Oh, what artistic tactics you employ. Patterns of your moves, heavy minute details of your Pokemon's performance. Everything you did was owned to perfection. It all was, in one word, art. Indeed, if we could not call that a worthy of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. Hey, <laughs> you just got wiped with the floor. Pardon me. Would you be the Navillo I've been hearing so much about? I might have mentioned there was a promising new face in the Academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I am one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the Academy. But do tell me, young Navilla, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be a champion? Uh... Yeah, for fun. Asked and answered. Thank you. Naturally, there is no one single correct answer. All paths lead to the great creator of Palada, as they all say. You know, your friend, Nimona, is the youngest to achieve the champion rank in all of Paladillian history. Well, I'm going to be able to break that rank from her. It's entirely possible that such great potential lies with you as well. It sure does, bud. Should you continue to striving to reach the champion rank, you'll one day have to battle me. It would be wise to train hard starting now, to save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, you come along to my art class sometimes. I'd be thrilled if you, uh, if you attend. Ooh. Yeah, art classes would be nice. My day off. As I am. Oh, I'm about to ruin your day. Ah, oh, bite. Yeah, that's gonna do a lot. We are gonna get the rattled off, though. Which, with that, and maybe a lucky astonish, we should be able to. Ah, oh, we didn't pass him. Yeah, we gotta get Karma a little more love and care. Goodness, you're strong. I uh, sure am. That's new. Oh, it must be what Itzy evolves from, or evolves into. It is kind of cool looking. Got like a little Bardi armor on. 
Oh, I get it. That's what it name. It's like a spider uh, ops unit. Which I guess explains why it looks like it's wearing body armor. I get you, Nintendo. Back up, kid. Can't just casually waltz in here like you're one of us stars that run the joint. If you want in, ring the bell over by the entrance and storm the base like a decent person. Oh, right. So you can't just waltz in. Weird, but okay, I guess they have some standard class. So, yeah, I think that's probably gonna where I'm gonna call it today. We got a Titan and another gym badge down. We actually can get our lizard back in as well. Actually, yeah, I want to do that. Alright, Scott. Actually, going to be able to help. <laughs> 